Hallelujah. Hey, Shalom. I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kodash. The water of Hashem, Yahweh for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki, I'm pushing the word in sincerity and truth and being faith based. We are here once again, midweek, to bring, prophesy the downfall of this wicked society that you ignorantly know as Babylon, but America, but it's spiritually known as, Bab as Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. So we once again, we are here to, um, to prophesy this downfall because it's, it's, it's rapidly, um, um, it's, um, it's, um, it's, um, it's, it's happening, gradually happening. That was the word, gradually. So, bring that verse out, brother. This is uh, the book of Habakkuk, yep. chapter 2, verse 1. Uh -huh. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. And that's what we do. We stand on our watch. And we watch, we, we're listening to what the Habakkuk is going to tell us. And we, how are we doing that? By watching the prophecies, the news. And all the um, all the events that's occurring, and then what we do, we do it. It says, and what I shall answer when I am reproved, and what we're going to answer, the things that's going to be occurring. All right, so we, we being reproved, we we out here. It's a lot. Yeah, we don't. Know. It says, and the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai answered me and said, write the vision. And make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. And that's what we're doing. We made it plain. Our, our, the book has been plain, which you call, which is called the Bible. It's plain. And the, and the prophets back then had doing is doing what we're doing today. Out here on the highways and hedges, prophesying. Get on, on Jeremiah chapter 28. All right. oh, verse 8. 8. Yes, sir. Read on. Read that part again. This is uh, the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2, yep. verse 2. Verse 2, yep. It says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon a table. And what is the vision? This place being destroyed. The prophecies. Okay? If you don't know, you're going to know now. We got, what's the once word the prophecies? This, this see here. The Arphaditia. They're about to implement this thing. And what's another prophecy? That, another vision. That was that was sent to our prophets and our elders back then. The thermonuclear missiles that Russia has, China has, okay, Iran has. Your fellow your fellow constituents, which is uh, the um the European Union, which is NATO. They all got missiles, and their their vision that our apostles and our elders saw back then was them being shot at America. And you you people you you peons don't see it happening. The vision's been told to our our apostles. Is that brother, elder brother? I'm sorry, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jeremiah 28, eh? Yes, sir. This is Jeremiah 24. Okay, Let's get to the point. What our our elders what our elders was doing back then, we're doing the same thing now. Jeremiah is one of our elders, one of our prophets, because the vision was told to Jeremiah when he was a little lad. We use that word lad, right? Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, brother. Alright, good. Salah. Uh -huh. So Jeremiah 28 and 8. Salah. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before yeah. thee of old. The prophets that's been before thee for me and, and before thee of old. You know it? Yeah. And, and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Prophesied. Prophesied against many countries, and that's what we're doing now. We prophesied against this place we spiritually, that's spiritually known as Babylon, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritually known as Egypt. That's what we are prophesying against this place. We know, brother, elder brother. All right, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So we would, they would, we would, our elders and our apostles were doing the same thing, prophesying against great kingdoms back then. And we're doing the same thing today. We're following suit. Because that's what our that's what our um, that's what um, our apostles and our elders and our king, Yahweh Shah, which you ignorantly known as Jesus, is doing is told us to do today. We don't know. Alright. The prophets 
the prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. The Lord has not prophesied peace. Peace is not coming to America. Sudden destruction is coming to America. And you cannot stop it. You should be terrified. Because the fear, the, 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 the terror of the Lord, we are here persuading men. We waking up the hopeful land. Okay? Well, actually, we plan to see and the Lord wakes up the hopeful land. Okay? So our job is to come out on the highways and hedges and prophesy against this place. If you don't like it, you have to deal with the Lord. And his name is Yahweh. And his son name is Yahweh Shah, which you me know as God and Jesus, right? So when he get back, all hell is going to break loose. And right before he get back, hell is going to be broken loose. Because the scripture speaks about there's going, the fire is going to be kindled here. All hell is going to be broken here. When shit hits the fan, who are you going to call? We know it, brother. That was, that was the point, right? Will it be that point, elder brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Because we are doing the will, we are doing the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah. All right, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, and His Son. You know what I mean? Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. The prophets that have been before us, we are considered prophets. And the, prophet, the word prophets means to say before. And what we telling you before what, what's going to happen? These prophecies, these visions that's written in the book, the Holy Bible. Hey, listen, the Quran don't speak what the Bible speaks, okay? It don't speak of prophecy. And the prophecies is about to happen. And they all happen right now. Because over there, what's that, um, so I can, um, the, um, in, um, Spain, that's Spain, um, when they got the sea hip going on, what's that country? It's, it's, it's like Sweden. In Sweden, that, they got the sea hip going over there. That's a vision. Certain places that, that, um, these things are, are, are occurring. These prophecies are occurring. And John, 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 John the Revelator, right? He saw these things. It was revealed to him. Okay? And Jeremiah had the same visions that was given from the, from the Yahweh Shemim al through the Spirit, through his holy angels. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. War is coming. War is coming. They both both prophesied against war and against many kingdoms. And it's going to happen. We're the Hebrew Israelites, according to the Holy Bible, we're the true descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? Have like, a question? Yeah, what, like, what's, yeah, what do you guys believe? What is your... We believe in the Bible? I don't, I'm not too, I'm not very familiar with the Bible. Like, I'm Muslim originally, okay. so I, just, I know the Quran, but I don't know, like, okay. much about the Bible. Well, we're, we're speaking about our, our nationality, who we are as, as the Lord's chosen people, all right? So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and those that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, that, that are, you know, Basically, Israelites. All right, that's what this thing is about. That's what the Bible is about. It's about, it's about nationality. All right, what, what, uh, what's your father? My father, like what country is he from? Yeah, like, 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 what, what's his nationality? His nationality is Pakistan. He's from Pakistan. Okay. All right. Well, according to the Bible, you will be an Elamite. Elamite. Yeah. What is an Elamite? Elamite. You're a descendant of Elam. What, like, what is that? What does that say? What does that mean? That's a nation. Like the nose is like the Persians. It's a nation. It's a nation. It's a nation of people. A nation of people. Right. So my, okay, so your nation is Israelite. Yeah. And then my nation would be Elamite. Elamite. Does it, like, but what, I mean, does it have any, what is that? What's the difference? All right, look. The, um, What's the difference? It, it was a covering cast. Which um, conquers the so-called white man? He changed everyone's nationality around. Yep. He changed the continents, the names of the countries to his liking. The difference is that the Lord only has one chosen people on the planet Earth, one chosen nation of people that He's dealing with on the planet Earth, which is the nation of Israel. 
Esau and Edom. He's known as Esau in the Bible. You heard of the story with, with uh, Jacob and Esau? All right, so it tells you that those were the progenitors, right? Jacob, Jacob being the progenitor of so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and Native Americans today. And Esau, all right, he's the, he's the progenitor of the so-called white race, all right? And they're gonna be the ones ruling in the latter days, in the latter times. Exactly, brother. Yes. I think I, I, think I somewhat get the idea that Esau was the father. You're talking about Isaac. Yes, the father of Isaac, he, he, he was his old. eyes was dim. Yeah. He wasn't blind, his eyes was dim. And he was, and he was supposed to be one of seven blessings. Right, right. And was yeah. that yeah. Right, he, he ended up giving the blessing, which was all in the spirit anyway. Because Esau was supposed to get it because he was the oldest seed. That's he was right. the, the firstborn. That was the tradition that, you know, the firstborn was supposed to get, get the blessing. But it was all set up in the spirit right. that Jacob and then that's what makes you and his red light is that you are descended from him and you got a blessing. Yes, because that, that, that was the promise that the Lord gave to our forefather Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It wasn't, it wasn't Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. All right, so we're the, we're, the, we're the descendants of Jacob to this day. Just like, just like how you had Abraham, Abraham had many children, right? But the Lord only was dealing with Isaac. In this situation we are now, we are un we are under the hands of the so-called white man. We was once under the hands of the Persians. We was once under the hands of the Medes. Okay, so and the Romans. These are all the the reason why we was under these hands of these other nations because of our disobedience. All right, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sorry. This is Amos three and one. Yeah. I'm gonna start at um, three. Yeah. Amos 3 and, and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. This is what he has spoken against us. He tells you in Deuteronomy chapter 3, it tells you about the blessings he's going to give us and also about the curses. So now he's telling us about... Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Against us. Watch this. We are Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, 
You only have I known of all the families of the earth. All the families is the other eight, the other seventeen nations. This one, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This one, this out of eighteen nations, the Lord chose one nation, and that's the children of, of Israel, of Yahshua Allah, of the Israelites. But you know, even in the Quran, you yeah, mentioned the say. children of Israel. Yeah, you do that. Right, the you know, you know the second song, Al Bakr, right? Yeah, that's the half. Al Bakr, the book of yeah. verse one hundred twenty-two. I don't have to memorize that. Alright, well, um, yeah, it says verse 120. It says other verses, too, and other books, right? That's the one that's easier to remember. Yeah, they talk about what is breathing my personal life. Oh, no, no, no. I'll walk around. I'll walk around that second chapter in the Quran. Verse 122. It says, um, he's chosen Israel to deliver his message. Right? Yeah, we, I mean, we believe that, that God sent messages down to different people. He sent messages down to the people of Israel, but he also sent messages down to the Arabs, to the Mongols, or something. Well, that may, that's correct. But the reason why he sent the messages, the angels down to those other nations, because we are scattered amongst them. See, that's that's the key point right there. That the Lord had, that was a curse put upon us. Can you read that for a See, the importance of this is the, the words in the book. That's the importance of this. Because we can speak all day, dialogue all day with you about this and that, but if we don't read these words, then we're only doing our own main glory. And it's not about us, it's about the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah. What? 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 Okay, I've heard there's like an Old Testament and New Testament. All right, what is it? It's what the is same it? book. Is it both? Yes. Right. It's the Torah, the Bible, the Torah. But sometimes the words be too small. Yeah. Like like when you have been with the pocket for all the way already in it, it's either it got the king's English where you looks like a beat, or the words is real small. Sometimes it hurts other times. And your interest in this you right. could you did. I'm sorry. Your interest in this may, may potentially be one of them. Because it says um our our spirit. Okay, come, come. This is uh Romans chapter eight, verse sixteen. The spirit itself bearing witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And just, uh, go ahead. Uh, um, the, um, the spirit may bear witness with us, but the words come out of it because you're looking for something. And it also say that um, in Romans 2 that Israel have not found what he was seeking for. So you may have, that, that's a spirit, that's a zeal, because you're looking for the Lord, Allah. Right? Call out. Okay. A lot of our people that look like the other nations, because it, it, um, it, um, it doesn't go by your appearance. Yeah, it's by right. spirit, not about spirit. how you look. A lot of our outside. people that scattered is outcast among them. Like, like, like you got the untouchables in, 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 in India. Yeah. They don't, they don't deal with them, because they know that they're not really East Indians. They're Israelites. Right. They scattered know them. that. Good. Because what I just said, Israelites are not the person. Right. And you see how you, you got your beard? That's a custom of, a, of, a, of, a, of, of, of ours, having a beard. We're not supposed to shave our hair on our face. We're not supposed to line up our beard. We're supposed to grow as is. 
So these are things, these are traditions of our, of our custom. So just like if, if you was a Elamite, you, your, your, your answers are followed that, that tradition too because you come out of Abraham. How, how did you guys get involved? Is this a, is this, I don't know what you call this. Like, church doesn't seem like the right word. It's it's a, church, church, it's a church. It's a church. A church. Because okay, the, the, the word church means which means to call out. So we're right now, this is a church. You know what I'm saying? When two or three are gathered, the Lord is in the midst. Right? Really? How, yeah, how did you guys get involved with this church? Spirit. 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 Same way how you walked up, and you looked, and you listened, and you heard. The same way how we heard brothers teaching, you know? We, you know, the Spirit. Yeah. The spirit some, some brothers were walking, they heard yeah. brothers teaching, yeah. some yeah. brothers saw the, the elders, apostles. Yeah. I'm teaching online. Right. I got, I got said for you. Right. This is uh, Romans chapter 10 and verse 14. It says, How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Alright? So our job is to come out here to teach word. But guess what? The elect is out there. Right. And the Lord said he made us fishers of men. Right. So we use the scriptures as bait. And we fish it for the elect, right? right? So the thing about it, if he wasn't out here doing this, he would have never been to us, right? So that's how the word the word is spread. Alright? Not only do you know on the internet, but worldwide it's gonna be spread, man. The gospel of 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 so now it ain't no excuse, you know? Lord, the Lord said to come out whether they hear or forbid, you know, to speak his word. You, you're still seeking something. Even though you, you found Islam, you still feel like you're something missing. You feel like that. You know why? Because you still, you got, you got, you got the, um, you got, um, the small hats, we call them. And they, they tell it. There's genocide going on. There's so much poverty in you. Why is it still poverty? Because there's something missing. We, just, we know that. Because you know why? The, 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 the prophets would reveal The secrets of the of the would reveal them. It was taught to So now we know why we in this situation. So why we, what we gotta do? We gotta do the will of the Hamas Shabbat Shah. And that's Hebrew. Lash Mark with us. We gotta keep calling on the Lord so we can be saved. They're not. Being a Muslim, you're not saved. We doing this right now, we're not saved yet. We need salvation. And the only way we'll get salvation is we working it out. It's free and trouble. We out here on the highways and hedges. This is where this is where it's focused at. This is where the Lord wants us to be at. And we persuade. And that's what we're doing. We persuade and look seeking out the Lord's man. Call it, the word church means in Greek, it's Greek plasios. We call it out. To, 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 to the men of the Lord. We don't know. He could be, he could be one of them. The spirit bear witness. But in due time, the Lord's going to wake up. Everybody's going to be woken up. What were you guys with, like, individual stories on, like, That don't matter. Doesn't matter no more. All brothers come from different books of life. Sorry, I don't I don't mean to ask like no, yeah, yeah. I understand, I don't mean to judge that. Right, so, right. What were you doing before this or that? Yeah, yeah. Brothers be doing all type of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. it's really no, it really don't matter right now. Oh, it's right like, now oh. at this point, is is what we're doing now. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's, mm -hmm. it's through our faith. I gotta preach up for that. If I find if I find if I find Um This is Romans. A lot. Romans chapter 5 because we, we we are here through faith Romans chapter 5 verse verse on uh, verse 1 and who we have faith in and our and our king Yahweh Shah and the word Yahweh Shah means he's deliverer he's the deliverer we need to be delivered from out of the hands no more out of the hands of the so-called white man he got you in his breath you're Islam and you're still here you got such a security card that's what you're giving God? Yeah. So you're a slave to the Lord, I mean, to, the, to, the, to the so called white man. Until you, until, the only way we're going to get out of here is to, by being saved. Allah ain't got you out of the situation. I, mean, and we, I, I don't necessarily Well, I, I don't see that. Right. You're still, still here. You're still here. You got, you yeah. got a receiving the headline. You got to pay bills. 
You got your, what do you know if your woman's stepping out on you? The only way you're gonna know is when the Lord cracks the sky and you and you be put on those chariots. This, this, it's a, salvation is needed. He, you need to be delivered out of the hands of the so-called white man. No matter what you want to say. Now here's the verse. And the only way you gotta have faith in the Lord. Now, see, the earth, the, I don't even say shit, but the earth needs to be delivered Come. from the Lord. Because this man is destroying the world. The earth is going to abide for live forever. But so called, that's why the Lord is going to speed his return because right. he's destroying this, this place. The earth is jacked up. You got to walk on concrete, bro. You never walk on concrete. This, we need law, true righteous law in order. This is out of order, man. You got. You gonna say we got lesbians walking around here, homosexuals. We got tree humpers, pedophiles. Pedophiles. Say it again, pedophiles. And they out here, man. Pedophiles. So they you you here. cannot say that that's you not you don't have no justice here. I got something. Yeah, brother Salah. This is Proverbs chapter twenty nine, verse two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. There's no rejoicing here. It's a third world country. It's third world. Co America's becoming a third world country. Little do you know, every day you see, you got Biden, you got Trump, they got, that's a circus. Who are you gonna vote for? I ain't never voted in my life, okay? It was, uh, I'm, 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 I'm old now, but I ain't never voted in my life. Even before I got into the truth. Cause there's a truth and there's a lie. There's only one truth, bro. Ain't no two truths. It ain't no two gods. Ain't nobody against the heavenly father. Not even Satan. No one, the only one is, this, uh, is the people on the earth. There's people on the earth that's against the Heavenly Father. And he, they getting ready while you're not, but they, 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 they got the circus in front of you, but they getting ready to fight the Lord. They know that the elites, the Rothschilds, the DuPont, the Gettys. Why, the yeah, why is there a space force? Why is there a space do force? Have, why do they have weapons out of space where the satellites are? They getting ready to fight the Lord. They already know that there's a power coming from a different dimension. That's about to take over their revolution. That's what they're prepared for. Right. It says, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. The, when the wicked bear rule, who rules this place right now? The wicked is specific wicked. There's wicked people, but there is the wicked. The Lord said the earth is the, the Lord has been, he, he's, been, he's merciful. He's also, um, oh man, what's the other word? Mercy. He shows mercy. He's, uh, there's another word. Long no, I'm there. I'm trying to, um, oh. Uh, he gave the earth to the so-called white man. Yeah, the earth is his head. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. Right? So, boy, I'm sorry. So, who's, who's right now in ownership? Oh, so who's the one that's ruling right now? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So like, who, 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 who say who's right now ruling the planet Earth? I mean, bro. Come on, bro. Come just, on, just, man. Let's be honest. Be honest. Well, I, I who's this. the one making the laws? Who's the one putting his face on the, on the money? Like, who is it, man? I, I read it for Who the one that's... Yeah, that, you know, come on, bro. You could, you could argue that throughout the rest of the world, there's a there's a new a new power. I'm, I'm in not, Russia. I'm not. Russia. No, I was, no, I'm I'm not saying, I'm saying China is starting to challenge. They work. China is starting to challenge. I'm sorry. This is it. Joe nine and twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We right. come. <laughs> He covers the faces of the judges there, bro. Right, so who, who's the one that does that? He, who's the main judge? Yahweh Shai, right? Who's the, they, who the world even calls so-called Jesus Christ? That's right. Right? They, they paint him as a so-called white man, right? But the Lord is actually the dark-skinned man. But who's the one that's put that image? What? I don't well, know he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a spirit. The Lord, the Lord said he's a, he's a man of war. A man of war. A spirit, spirits have form. That's right. I mean, as, I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, as I said. We, See? we just we believe that we don't know what God looks like. What? Well, well, we we, we know, know what He looks like. like. What you, you look, look like? Look like. He can tell you the seventh chapter. That's you know right. what He look like. The Bible tells you how He looks. It's a description in Revelation. It's a description in Daniel. Why? The Lord, the Lord, Lord said, said you, see you, you see the Father. Right. You see me. You see the Father. Seven, right? Who they put on the cross? Who they crucified, man? What about the, what about those babies that's being destroyed over there? Don't they got a, a, a image? You think you think God gonna make these people and they not make himself? Now he's not he's not he's nothing. Come on, yeah. All right, Daniel. Daniel 
7 and 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. First of all, who's the Ancient of Days that he's speaking about? Oh no, we we gonna lose this. Who's the ancient of days that the Bible is speaking? Ancient of days even before time. That God? Yes. That's what it's speaking about. Right? He's saying that he's saying, describe it again. Read it again. Alright. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. Did sit. Meaning that he had a body. For him to so, he had to have a body, right? Go ahead. Whose garment was white as snow, whose garment was white as snow, he had a garment on, something like he had on his head. And the hair of his head, and the hair of his head, like the pure wool, like the pure wool. <laughs> Who has woolly hair on this earth? <laughs> what nation of people got woolly hair on the earth? Huh? Not woolly hair. You're gonna say it's red? Huh? Huh? It's red you got yeah. woolly hair? So-called Negroes, right? So-called black people, uh, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what describe it. The Most High is. Which you would refer to as a black man. All right? Well, what he had? Afro. Afro. His throne, his throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. He's actually talking about the cherry. So, so called UFO, which he says. All right? That's what the Lord rides on. That's right. All right? That means he has a body. Okay? There you go. That's a, there's a description. Of the Lord. He said the ancient of days did sit. How can you go around that? So I want to ask you, did, 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 did he show the description of Allah in the, in the Quran? Yeah, literally. I mean, there's not a description. So this is this is what I'm trying to tell you. You don't know your nationality. You don't know you don't know your you don't know your where your spirit lies. You don't know what you are. You just know that you were seeking something. Alright? And then you still feel like you are seeking something, but you know what? The, 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 the God of this world, which is Satan, got a hold on us. We don't we broke the barrier of the Lord, of, of, this, of this God of this world. So now we know our power. And no, finish it. We know our power and our power is real. He's not he's not a, just a, something floating in the air. Okay, he has a description. He's coming back for his earth. He, and he's gonna take it in blood. Hey, let me ask you something, right? What what's what's the difference between Bible and the Quran. Difference? I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is that the Quran that we have now is untranslated from when it was originally sent down the bombs so or so Okay. The same words that we believe were spoken through the angel Gabriel, the word of God that spoke through the angel Gabriel, to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that he spoke to us. Those same words are recorded in the Quran. Okay, now where is the James? I mean, like with the King James Bible, it's known that this was translated. Okay, yeah, it was not. It was translated from the Hebrew to the Greek, the Latin, right, to English. So my point is this: Does the Quran deal with prophecy? Does it? Can, it, can the Quran tell me what is in the last days? What to look out for? Does it tell you about America being destroyed? Does it tell you about the, 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 the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast? Does it tell you, what does it tell you? For you to be like, you know what I'm saying? What, what type of warning is it telling you in these last days? I mean, Islam, yeah, Islam does talk about, I, I don't have it exactly in the Bible, but you do have a hadith that talks about some of the signs, some of the signs of the, of the end times. Okay, like, like what? The, the first and greatest sign of the end times is actually on the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam arriving. Okay, but what, what was he saying? What was, what well, he's the end people? times prophet. He's the last prophet. Okay. This, is, this is what we believe. Right. So he was the first of the signs. Uh huh. And what was he saying? What, what, was, what was the sign that he was, he was saying? Tell me. Tell us people to wake up to, for what? To tell you what? What was the sign that he was, what, what was the message that he was letting the people know? What he told us was, more important than when the day of judgment is coming, than when the, when the last day comes, more importantly, because a man came to him and asked him, he said, what are the signs of the day of judgment? When will, you, when will the day of judgment come? And he responded and he said, 
what have you prepared for the day of Hajj? Because every single person, every single person, they're going to die one day. And their death is essentially the same as the day of death. Okay, whether or not the end times come before or after they die, after you're dead, it's done. You can't do any more deeds. Okay, so that's the, that's the, that's the thing. Though. When it comes to prophecy, this is, what, this is why this book upholds any other book that's known to men. That's, you know, it, it tells you about what's going to happen in these times right now that we're in. All right? Things that were written 2,000 plus years ago are happening today. That's right. This is why the Bible is solidified as the book. Go ahead. Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, right. no one of these shall fail, none shall warn her mate. Right, none, none of these, what, prophecies shall fail. Right, all right? Because the Lord is not a man that he should lie. If he said that this is going to happen in these times, that's what he going to happen, all right? And we're seeing these things happen, you know, all right? What do you, you know about the walk of peace? You know what that is? Is that like six, the number 666 or something? Uh, I mean, that's that Hollywood shit. But it, it goes back to, the, that's the number of a man, all right? Which is the number, is, yeah, six, 600, six, uh, three, four, six, six, right? 666, six, six, right? So the point is that, that goes with the whole uh, universal, uh, Product code, right? Every time you scan your hand, you know, basically you're, you're, you're going into their system, these systems, all right? But it's all going to be lined up with your dental records, your medical rest records, you know, your, your, um, you know, your driver's license, everything that, you know, what has to do with you is going to be on that chip, right? right. And this is the only way you're going to be able to buy and sell here in this society because sooner or later, all the, all the, all you see right now, the, the, the money is about to be obsolete very soon. Okay, you already see, you know, you heard about the nation and now, um, you know, Saudi Arabia, um, these other nations, they're basically joining on with the BRICS, right? So in a minute, they're about to do away with the dollar bill. Nobody's going to be trading with the dollar. Right? So what's gonna be the next way they will uh, interact with you is gonna be first, it's gonna be um it's gonna be uh, digital currency, right? Then after the digital currency, it's gonna be basically when you wanna be having your money on a chip, right? So everything you're gonna be doing, all the transactions you're gonna be making in the society is gonna be on a chip. Whether you're gonna put it in your right hand, the left hand, in your forehead. Ways of how you're going to be uh, able to, you know, do transactions here in the society. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he called it all both small and great. Right, who's the he? Let's talk about the so called white man. All right? The elite, the elites of the society. The third term rangers there. Right. Right. They're gonna want. They're gonna be the ones that are gonna cause and force everyone on the planet Earth right. to receive this implantable microchip, right? right. It's the, the device. You're not gonna be able to do anything here in the society unless you have that mark, right. which in the Greek is, is called paragma. Right. 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 And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor. Right. It don't matter your social status. You could be rich. You could be poor. You're going to be somebody great in the society. It don't matter. Everybody's going to, they're going to get down with the system. You know? The only one that's not going to get that is the elect and the elite. And the few and the few casualties that scatter among the other nations won't. But mainly the elect is not going to get it in the elite because they they outside of um, society. They're basically sovereigns. You said that. Sorry, do you want to finish? No, no, we can do what? You said that uh, the skin color of race doesn't necessarily matter. Right, you know, it don't matter. For example, you know, you got, you got the Lakers shirt on. You watch basketball? Honestly, I just like it. Okay. Alright, so you heard of Blake Griffin? Yeah. You know his father's a Haitian, Dawson. So, 
Yeah, so I mean, I, 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 I was just saying, you can have a black man, a, like a black man and a black or a white mother and have like a totally white child. And that's still what the father is. Yeah. And the, the, father, the son, whoever the son is, and he has, if his wife is even hella, the son gonna still be what the father is. Right. That's, no, no, go ahead. That's the point here. That's the spirit. Right, the seed, the, see, it's just like when you plant, you plant like a, plant, plant a seed, right? You plant an apple tree, right? All right? It don't matter where you plant it at. You plant it in China, you plant it in whatever. It's still gonna be an apple tree, right? The same thing you say that, if you're an Israelite, right? It don't matter. Like the brother made the, you know, the, the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You were like this. <laughs> the point, yeah, the brother made the point where, you know, uh, uh, Blake Griffin, right? Yeah. His son, right? Okay. Now, his son deals with, there's nothing but white women for the rest of you know, whatever. And then his seed deals with another white woman, so on and so forth, right? That seed is still an issue, like, no matter how that person may look, they look like there's no more white women. You know what I this seed is an Israelite. Right. That's the point we're, we're making. And then the other thing is that it seems like earlier you mentioned that like what people nowadays call Jews. Right. It sounds like you're saying that they're part of the same group that's oppressing the rest of the world. Oh, of course. Of course. Oh, yeah. They're, they're the number one. But there was a time, right? There was a time period. Some would say that that time period is over, where they were being oppressed, right? What time was that? What time was that? So after the Holocaust, and even before the Holocaust. Nah, that's that's that, you gotta go deeper in that and research that. That was that, that's all made up shit. Made up. That I was what only get the land of Israel right there. That's right. The Belfort Declaration. You ever heard of that? I have. I have. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would disagree. I, I don't think that the Holocaust. But they. But a lot of those people that died, they had typhus. They didn't, they wasn't legal. You know, they died from the fact that um, when, when Hitler, Hitler wasn't, he wasn't torturing nobody. He wasn't torturing them. They were dying off. Yeah. Because they were, they were, you know, inhaling them dead bodies. Right? But I was, I mean, Hitler literally wrote, like, he wrote a book and he literally, like, documented that he hated Jews. Mein Kampf? Not, not just Mein Kampf. He had the other documented speeches where he talks about Jews. And then he also said that, yeah. You know who you, you know who you got in your possession? Yep. Say it's America. You talking about us? You talking about us? Because he knew the truth. Right. Hitler, Hitler, Hitler is a so-called Jew. He's of the tri he, he's of the Rothschild family. That's right. Yeah, he's a bastard. That's right. So-called bastard. Yeah. I, I think I, I I mean I still like the, the, are you the I say the Holocaust sure, okay. is very well done. Can I say something? Well, of course, it's you don't get nowhere in this world in a certain rank like how he was if you ain't bloodlined in something. Right. Because all of these nations, they join together. They might be enemies, but they come together at a round table. And they, and they got one accord, make these people be at the bottom, serve them, and they got a ranking system. Hey, you cannot be, you cannot be, you cannot be a leader or, or whatever you want in a different country and you're not bloodlined in. Hey, prove to prove what you're saying is true. Look at the, the Saudi family. Mm. All right? The Saudi family. That's why we're getting the point that just like it's not about how you look, it's about nationality. That's right. Those are crypto Jews. The same Saudi royal family, those are so called. Jews, man, that's running that 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 whole line. That right. is their bloodline. Their bloodline goes back to e Esau. Their 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 like the Lee family, like the Turkish, they're Arabs. Right? They're Arabs. So they know no, their they're not. Thing. They know their thing. They're and not their Arabs, history. Bro. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Their <laughs> history. If you know their history, you would know that they weren't particularly powerful. Almost a hundred years ago, they weren't particularly. Right. They were put in that Even when they took over the land that's currently Saudi Arabia, they weren't that powerful until they just until oil was discovered in that land. Right. But the point they, when they came to power, they even weren't that that wealthy. They were, those, those families were set up. That's right. They were all set up. But they were set up for what? To like wait for thousands yeah, of years, puppets, thousands of years in the desert, and then the elites, man. that's all it is. They're puppets in the elites. It's sort of like it's sort of like they say that they was knighted. 
other thing I would say is that I think that I think that evil can still exist outside outside of any sort of conspiracy that's going on. Personally, personally, I don't. If I'm being honest with you, personally, I don't believe that there is a worldwide conspiracy. Like, I don't think there's necessarily a worldwide conspiracy. I think there's collusion. All right, so, so, so listen, I'll say this. I think there is collusion on the part of leaders of different nations that, yeah, they want to benefit themselves and they don't care if it if it's at the detriment to the world. France is a great example. They don't, they're doing a lot of horrible things in West Africa. But that's the thing. They don't care. Their government doesn't care if they're right. Great because why they do with the bidding of the elite. Yeah. That's the point. They do but I think, but, but, but so I would say, how are you not going to think of the conspiracy to basically for these certain group of families oh. to, to ruin the world? To basically keep these people oppressed, as you can see, I this think, is, I think this, this is not by yeah. this is not by coincidence. Right. This, no, this, no, is, yeah, this is strategic. Listen, listen. Like I, they got us in the ghettos and the yeah, slums. Yeah, you know I would say, I would say, the white, poorest schools. Like, I would say, yeah, white people in the U.S. They did make conscious efforts to make sure that black people could it's not, not open. U.S. only, bro. All right. It's not okay. all, not the, not nations, all the nations. Not, not, the nation. not, not just in the U.S. I mean, I come. I'm from. I'm from the U.S. So that's why I'm talking about the U.S. Yeah, but it's everywhere. Oh, it's everywhere. Okay, can I? I, I absolutely. Oh, this is why the scriptures must speak. Okay. The scriptures don't lie. Bring it up, bro. All right. This is this is um Psalms of the eighty three. Yeah. Okay. Keep not silence, O Lord. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O power, for lo, thy enemy has made a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up thy lifted up thy hand. Right. So all these nations, all right, they Listen. all hate. They all hate us, man. All right. This is not. This is what, not a secret. What, what, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, I think evil can exist outside of that. In addition to that, that's that you. That's. That is your belief, man. No, bro, bro. All right, this is I'm going to say this. Slavery was not a choice, brother. I don't think that was a choice. <laughs> right, so this is what I'm saying. I don't think that's a choice. Either. What I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is that Adolf Hitler, he was an evil guy. What made him evil, though? What made him evil? Because he came against the small hats. That's when, he, see, not here in America, he listen, murdered here, a lot of people. No, 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 here in America, they don't even say that, that Hitler was such a bad person. Yeah. But out there in Europe and these other countries, they, they don't look at it. Okay. See, see, this is what they would see. They taught us that in, 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 uh, in school, right? But the real point is that if you ever, if you know about the history of, of Hitler and all that, you will understand why he was doing what he was doing. That's right. Because look at look at look at the way these, these so-called Jews, how they want shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you can see why this is doing. But it was all propaganda anyway. Because, you know, I think I think that I think that Adolf Hitler killed a lot of people, okay. including millions of Jews. Why? Because he was taught that. Okay. I mean, yeah, he was taught to hate Jews. He was taught. To hate he was a Jew himself. He was a Jew. He was a Khazar. He was a Khazar himself. Okay. He See, all right, hold on. Rothschild. He was a Rothschild. He was a Rothschild. I, I I just I can't I can't accept that. You're not but getting in this a is, position without being a, a bloodline or somebody. Right. Close. right. You don't gain those positions on your right. own. And that's why I say these, these top CEOs of these Fortune 500 companies they were they were set up. I, but I'm just they saying I can't. From the mud. I personally cannot accept that that's, the Holocaust that's, was not. Right? That's why the Lord don't respect persons. That's why God himself don't respect us. He don't respect us. He ain't gonna respect you. He don't care about your opinion. That's why he said, just say the Bible, just say the words. It said, read on, Psalm chapter 83, verse three. They, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So the, the elites of all these nations, they meet together. At the you United the Nations. Elites, you have the elites of the East Indians, you have the elites of Ishmael, Arabs, you have the elites of Chinese, they all meet together, less Illuminaries. Yeah. 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 That's right. And they all, in the secret and at the um, what's that building down here? United Nations. Yeah, the United Nations right now. They all play they all um, um plotting against Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. You can see how you feel, but you just might be one. You just might be one. The spirit don't the spirit don't it doesn't um doesn't it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't like offend you. 
if you look, you see this something. If they were plotting against all those groups, wouldn't they have done something already? They did it already. Look at look at Puerto Rico. Look at Santo Domingo. Look at Hades. They did it already. Look at the Negroes of America. So much worse. What look at the good? Negroes of America. With, with the look at the Native they Indians. They did it already. Countries coming together. They did they it when. When you go to the United Nations, we don't have a seat. No, number one, number one, in, in world court, if you're not a nation, if you're not considered a nationality, you don't have no voice. In world court, you, you cannot cry about crimes against humanity if you're right. not considered a nation. Still, Blacks, yeah. these, these, considered names, these names are not considered, considered these names are not considered um, nationalities. If you're dealing with law or world court, those are bywords. Right. You know, just like your name being all caps, capitus, diminutium maximum. You you denoted you denoted yourself and you like a um a corporate slave or whatever. Mexico's part of the United Nations. Huh? Mexicans. Where? Yeah. Then they're puppets. Then they're, then they're puppets. You got a so-called Jew running right now as a woman president in Mexico. What are you talking about? Like, see? The, the, the wicked flee if with no man pursue it. But the righteous stands bold as a lion. The wicked, he tried to get. He tried to get. He tried to tell us that, no, man, look, listen. We're not considered a nation, so basically, whatever happens to us right now, no one cares. Who shall have pity upon me? Here's what I'd say. Here's what I'd say. I. 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 What I've seen, what I've got at, 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 you know, in history is that Jews have been oppressed for thousands of years. Get, 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 get the real Jews. Let me, 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 Call yourself Jew. Jewish. Jewish. They wish to be a Jew. But that's English. No. No, it's not. In English, they call themselves Jew. No, they don't call themselves Judah either. They don't call themselves any. Yeah, okay. It's like it's like you're saying, all right. Like that, in Arabic, in listen, Arabic, the word is Yabu. See, that's not. My, my point is this. If you see something, right, that's. You say, all right, either it's black or it's blackish. What you going to say? It's going to be, you're going to say, oh, it's something pertaining to being black, right? Right? That's them saying, that's them telling maybe. on themselves. Right, that's maybe. them saying, no, right? I'm not a Jew, I'm Jewish. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a, I'm, I'm, I'm something pertaining to be a, a Jew. But look, I'm in, not Arabic, a Jew. in Arabic, you would say, in, in the Jew, listen, in the Jewish Yahoo. encyclopedia Yahoo. in 1925, and they, said that, they said that they're not, they said that the modern day Jewry is Edom. That's right. And it's it's modern day Jewelry yeah. is Edom. All right? And, 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 and average, I'm sorry. Um, Daniel, Daniel um, 9 and um, 8, right? Yeah. Daniel 9 and 8. And in Hebrew, uh, it's the original, original language of God. It's Lash and Akhadah, it's the Holy Tongue. Okay? Arabic, Arabic is, 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 like, is like broken Hebrew. Cause you use a lot of, of the, um, the the characters. You, you see a lot of the words. Like um, um you no say you say. I gotta I gotta take this guy. It's not a phone call. Well, this, all right, just remember, your spirit probably bear witness, and it's nothing you can do about it. It's, it's gonna it's gonna reveal itself. Who is the true living power? And when that happens, you're gonna know. And you're gonna know what you're gonna think of. You're gonna think of these men that was here. Get that. Get that. Get that. Yeah, hold on. Daniel 9 and 12. And he has confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Right. And who's Jerusalem? Jerusalem. Represents you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? So, a great evil has been done to our people, right? More than any other nation on the planet Earth. All right? He's talking about what was done to the damn small hats, all right? The Amalekites. The point is that the transatlantic slave trade 
when you hear about the, the horrors, the horrific atrocities that our people had to go through, yeah. okay, uh, the trail of tears, come on, man. What on earth, what other nation on earth has suffered more than the nation of Israel, man? Right. All right? You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, this world has brainwashed these people into believing a lie, man. You know? This guy is talking about uh, um, fucking, you know, what, what was taught to many of us, you know? That, that the, you know, the so-called Jew had to go with the, the, you know, the whole Holocaust bullshit, man. That shit was fucking made up live, man. That was all for them to, to, to get into the land of Israel, man. Okay? That's why, that's why um, the apostle uh, Tahar, he mentioned, he said, you know, everything in the society is a psyop, man. All right? Don't believe anything that you hear or see here in this society, man. Right. Um, you got more? You got something else? All right. Um, oh, go back to the um, song. Song okay. 82. Psalm chapter 83, verse 2. Psalm 83, verse 2. For lo, thy enemy make a tumult, a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the hand. Right. Lifted up the hand. Yes, right. All right. Meaning that you are the nation. All right, you all, you all are against the nation of Israel. Right. You lifted up your hand through what? Through your policies, through your, through your unjust decrees. That's right. Okay? All right? These, these, are, these are the things that the so-called white man and other, other nations have done against our people, man. To the point where, you know, we're at the bottom, man. And as long as we're at the bottom, that's how these, these, these nations, they're going to continue in their power. That's right. They're going to continue to rule. All right. And this is okay. Hold on. Let me let me, let me, get, let me let me get to the point of this for you before you run, before you run off, because your spirit is here. You're, you ain't got you really ain't got no distraction. You ain't got no woman holding you up. You ain't got you really ain't got a job to go to right now. It's okay. Let's get a little get a little more of this, man. Trust me. Trust me. Oh. Um, okay. Good. No. But the scriptures bear witness. No? Oh, let me just get to the point right here. Listen to this. Psalm to the 83, verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Who are the hidden ones? The Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We've been hidden. We in these jail cells. We, 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 we scattered. You don't know your nationality. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Not nations, a nation. That they, that the name of Israel, here's the point, that the name of Israel may be, that Israel may be no more in remembrance. So there you go. That's the point, man. The Negroes and Spencer don't, it be no more in remembrance. So how these people could say there's something, and the Lord just said they would, the Lord took the name. That name, Yasha, Yasha Allah, Israelite, he, the Lord took, that's why Negroes and Spencer never remember, don't know they're Israelite. He said, let's read it again. Right, let's read this verse again. Psalm to the 83 verse 4. They have said, come, let's cut them off from being a nation. They cut us, they cut us short, but we don't have nothing. You don't know. You don't know who you are spiritually. Hey, that's why when we came over here to America, yep. right? What was the thing they did? They, they, they stopped us from reading the Bible, yep. right? Because once they knew that we got you know, get back on our power, you know, they can't do nothing against right? Yeah, we'll be put to death for reading the Bible. Even to the point they created a, 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 a slavery Bible, right? Yeah. They was taking out certain precepts, yep. certain, certain uh, pages out of yep. the Bible, and they would just give it to us, man. Why is that? Why would they do that? Because right. they know who we are. Right. Right? That's right. The thing is, also, they, they beat it out of us yep. for, for us not to speak our, our language which is the Hebrew, right. right? They forced us to speak their language, which is English, or, or, or Portuguese, or French, or, you know, Spanish, whatever, yeah. right? Our, our main language is Hebrew. That's right. They beat that out of us. 
Then they took our nationality away from us. And now they calling themselves as they're the, they're the Israelites. Or they're the Israelis of the Bible, right? right. They didn't record themselves Israelites. They called themselves Israelis. Yeah. Okay? I mean, Israelis, Israelis. They call, that's not come on, bro. That's not in the book. That's, that's English. That's also come English. Come on, man. Man. Israel, Israel, man. Israel, Israel. Listen, Israel. Israelite and Israeli. It's really, it's really Yashal. But the word Israelite is in the Bible. The word Israelite is in the Bible. It's in the Bible written in Paul, English. Paul said, Paul said, I am an Israelite. But he didn't say it in English. He said, he said, he said, I'm Yashala. He knew Hebrew. That's a, he, Yashala, that's, that's, the, that's the correct name. So if it was to translate it from the Hebrew to the Greek to the Latin to the English, that's what it said, man. That's right. It's the same thing, man. I mean, now, they call, but they call themselves the people of Israel, right? Listen, that's what they say, man, but they're not, man. They're converts. Just, they're converts. They're, they're, they're so for them. a declaration, that's how they got into um, yeah, into They're the not land. the real people, man. The that's well for a declaration. You defending the people that destroying your people. Exactly. They, they put in hell on your people. And you, you fucking defending them, man. I don't think, I don't think that, I don't think that one injustice allows a person to commit another injustice. We're not, we're not, that's why we, you're I'm right. Saying, Listen, hold on, is, hold on. They, they, you know, they might be committing an injustice against the Palestinians today, but that doesn't mean that I need to deny that any injustice happened to them. And I believe that, that, that the, I do believe that the Jewish people were slaughtered in Europe by the Nazis, by Jews. All right. Well, what and, and that was a, a, an extreme human tragedy. So, so you're saying that was... Did you say that that was worse than what happened to us? I don't think I don't think that. Here's what I'll tell you. There was another Belgian. There was another leader in Belgium. He colonized Congo and he murdered 15 yeah, million. Leo, Leo, um, what was it? Uh, Africanus? No, no, no. Um, Leopold. 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 Yeah, yeah. He oh. murdered 15 million people. I think that's a horrible human tragedy too. Right. I don't think that's acceptable either. Right. But the thing is, we that were we were punished in wow. the eyes of the whole world. Right. The whole world seen what we went through for 400, 500 years. Right? Yeah. Don't you think that was an act of God? Don't you think that? Don't you think that the reason we were being punished like that? Because why? We're, we're the sons of the living power. Right. And we're punished because of what we did to transgress against our heavenly father. Don't you think that? As a Muslim. As Do you Muslim, think I that that was done by coincidence? That's not I by coincidence. coincidence. Exactly. What I, what I believe is that God doesn't commit evil. What I believe is that people are, aren't capable of committing evil. Right. I think people committed evil against black people. Right. I think Europeans committed evil against black people by enslaving them, oppressing them, and continuing that oppression. And I believe that they oppressed Jewish people as well for thousands of years. Well, well guess what? The Lord the Lord does do evil. All right? right. You know, Sam 2 and 6. I, I know you might believe this, but I don't I don't I don't follow this course. I don't follow Well I that's mean, fine. It's okay. The King James Bible. It's, it's, all, right. it's all right. It's all right. Let me show you. Let me just show you. Second Samuel 2 and 6. Second Samuel 2 and 6. And now the Lord show kindness. And now. Because the Lord put us in this situation. He's he, he the one that, that, that he's the only one he can put us in this situation. I mean, you can he's imagine, the only one to get us out. You can imagine why Jewish you need people, salvation, bro. You can imagine why Jewish people would, like imagine if somebody said that black people. First Samuel like, two, two. Uh, check this out. First Samuel two and um. First Samuel two and six. The Lord kill us and make us alive. He bring them down to the grave and bring us up. There you go. The Lord kill us and make us alive. It's not your decision. See, those men, those people that's over there killing the Palestinians and all that, the Lord is letting that happen. Yahweh Shah is letting that happen. This is his earth. These are his people. These are his spirits. He can, he, he make it, he kill us and he make them alive. That's why reincarnation is, is, is biblical. 
I got I gotta go. I gotta go because it's getting dark. But the last thing I would say is the last thing I would say is I think there, I just think there's too much evidence to deny the Holocaust. Don't right? worry, the lawyer's gonna make a gonna make another Holocaust. Yeah, another Holocaust. Another Holocaust. The lawyer's gonna try it. And he's going to do it with nuclear missiles. Okay, okay. So these guys, they went through the Holocaust, they was in the gas chambers, and now they're running the world. This, that's that. Right. Wow. Wow. I don't get it. I don't, I don't know. What did they step for? What, 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 what happened? I don't think they're running the world. What? Yo, you're, you're in the You're in the So who does America owe its debt to? Why is America sending billions of dollars to Israel? I'll tell you why. There's, there's many billions of dollars in this world because that's it. Because we have a... That's it. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say what you got to say. I mean, because our Congress voted for saying the money. And... Your Congress, huh? You really think that? So, so don't you think that money deserves to be... Uh, uh, give it to those that's here in America? I think it would have been better spent. All right. Yeah. Why are you, why are you giving money... The Israel giving money to the people in Ukraine. Why are you doing that? All right, so my point is this, right? I think the Sunday on the Israel Israel is Israel is the one that's running the show. At the end of the day, I think there's a lot of influence from the state of Israel on the US. Why is that? Because there's a lot of influence from the state of Israel on the US. Why is that? We have a democracy, the way our democracy functions. We have a we have we have a democracy by democracy. I think we have a democracy, but I think it's deeply flawed, and it does not give you quality. We have this, listen, listen, I come from Pakistan. I know what it's like when you have absolutely no right. democracy. So that's the point. In the U.S., we have a democracy, we have a democracy, but it's deeply flawed so that people with wealth, who know how to organize, can have more influence. I think there's a, there are lobbies that, that lobby, that the U.S. should send money to Israel. That's that one. That's that one. That's that one. Right. Why? The philosophy is that the one. Those are the things that the point is that there is. You got the point is why America is with Israel. Why do you? I gotta go. All right, I have to pray. All right, bro. Oh, all right, man. I got to go. I got to go. Go on. 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 Um, um, that, that, that freedom is a middle, man. <laughs> yeah, he's all fucked up, man. You got something, bro? Uh, but this is, hey, 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 but this is, but this is what I wanted, though. So, this is, um, uh, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. And that's the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Al Shah. See, he didn't understand, what he didn't want to exalt was that there's a true living power. All these other gods is idols. Yahweh Shimei Al Shah forms light and, and, and darkness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord, yeah. The Lord does evil. And evil is coming. The word evil is the compound word when bad time. So bad time is coming. And we are prepared. We are prepared to see this place be destroyed. That's why we out here on the highways and hedges. And it ain't gonna stop until the Lord, until His word, His word not come down a void. And it's not gonna be void. Everything is gonna happen that the script does say the Bible, does say the Lord. The Habah Shimei Al Shad is their name. And we, we found what we've been looking for. But we, we were the lost sheep, now we've been found. And you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to learn the hard way here. That's why the Lord is letting you come back to America. 
You don't want to come back to him? He's going to put you right back in the hands of your enemy. This is Isaiah 55, verse 11. Yeah. So shall, matter of fact, no, I'm going to start at verse 10. Okay. It says, uh, matter of fact, verse 8. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the, the Lord. That's right. He, he, that man thought the thoughts of the Lord was him. Well, I, my personal opinion, your personal opinion don't count. That's why we got here. Our personal opinion don't count. You know what? It says, his thoughts are not your thoughts. Our Heavenly Father is beyond what you think. You know what? It says, but as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. There you go. The heavens is higher. The Lord's thoughts is higher than yours. You can't, and you can't even imagine what he did. It'll hurt your head trying to imagine what the Lord, y'all watching y'all, trying to do. You know what? And my thoughts, then your thoughts, yeah. but as the rain and the snow, and the snow from heaven, and return it not better, but water it the earth, and making it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. That's right. This this is this is a this is a this is a miracle for the Lord that, that it made. For the snow to come down and the rain and the recycle back. You know? So you you gonna know. Right, you gonna know what your Allah Shut is gonna do to you. And, and, and this, that, that's, that's, that's a miracle. This, and what you're going to see, what, what we're doing right now is a miracle. Somebody on the highway in the heaven, we need to understand, oh, oh, uh, we came from being slaves. They try to take that away. This is a miracle. Okay, brother. It says, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. His, his words, his prophecies, is not going to come back void. It's not coming back to us. We send it out, and it's going it's to perform. The Lord's word, Yahweh Shemel Shah's word, is going to perform. And you're going to witness it. You either you're going to be on, the, either you're be on the, the front of these missiles or behind these missiles. He says, what it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I said it. And the Lord, it's his pleasure to, to do what he's going to do. It's going, it's not coming back. He's first going to shoot from Russia, from China, from the, U, the, U, the United Nations, from NATO. And it's going to hit the soils of America. And you better hope and pray that you're on the right side of those missiles. You know?
full sense of security. The women come out at any type of hour. People yeah. are careless. They don't know we're in wartime. They don't know the Lord is a man of war. First, <coughs> first and foremost, the people of the world don't know the Lord is a man of war. So there's no fear. People are fearing small things, but not fearing the most high. And the most high is exactly among, among, uh, above all. Hosea chapter 4 verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. We both are here. Children of Israel. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are supposed to hear. Right. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. The Lord has a controversy. He got a problem. He got a grievance. What land? America. Why? Because homosexuality is promoted in America. Pedophilia is promoted in America. Bestiality is promoted in America. Feminism is promoted in America. Children ruling is promoted in America. And it's all these items, these four items are promoted in America. These holidays, philosophy. A man that was over here, he was drunk. Yeah. He, was, he was drunk on the full philosophy. Right. He said, because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the Most High in the land. There's no truth, and there's no knowledge of the Most High in the land. So you got all this chaos. Land. The truth is not promoted. The, the truth is blacklisted in America. Folly is promoted above all. It says, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood such as blood. Yeah. Because all, all witchcraft is promoted in America. All right? That's the soul in the music industry. Drugs. Drugs on the black market, the drugs on the up and up. Pharmaceuticals. All right? Here. Right. And if the description found stuff without a wish to live, drug dealers, Satanists, Fun. Masons, right. Illuminists, they're all supposed to be put to death. Right. They're supposed to be taught first, y'all don't do this. So when it's exercise, right. then that exercise of the Lord's wrath supposed to be promoted here. They're supposed to be put to death. Public execution. Right. And it's going to be implemented. You want to know, you want to know that the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah is a righteous judge when he starts implementing all these things. But well, we're not doing that. All laws are not expedient. Right. We're waiting upon Yahweh Shemel Shah. Right. Well, we just stay in what's supposed to be. Right. And that's why America and Harlem will be <coughs> infiltrated and destroyed. All right. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the simple kingdom. The angels are upon the simple kingdom. Right. Right now. Right. This is going to be done later. What they doing right now, cleaning the tower, it's gonna be done later. Because when the pandemic was happening, when they was putting up the um, towers on the roof, telling them to stay in, they was doing it a little, little later than this. Yeah. Yeah. They were doing this a little later than this. Yeah. 
That could have been done late. Or that could have been done in the wee hours in the morning. Yeah, that's safe. Like five or six in the morning. That's definitely safe. Definitely safe. So this is the plan. They might not, it might not be them. They might be who hired them to do it. So they know, they know the hours. They know when the men of the Lord is coming out. That's how you do things. So, so that means whoever's going in and they get everybody out of the community the council or whatever. The community, they ain't get together. Like, yo, what we gonna do about this? Well, this what we do. No? Done. That's right. All right, I'll slap you. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh was sharp upon the sinful kingdom. The eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom. The angels are the eyes. Watch the Lord this. and the prophets are the eyes, right. man. Right. All right? The sinful kingdom is America. You, it was relating to Israel, but Israelites, but we could compare it to now. America is our sinful kingdom. Right. And the Lord is watching everything you do. You're not going to get away with it. Come over here to do things that in your country you'll be put to death. Yeah. So come to America, the golden city, the freedom, you where you can do and live by the way you want. Yeah. As long as you don't break Esau, Lord. Right. And I will destroy it off the face of the earth. How is this land going to get destroyed off the face of the earth? Being that we're in the nuclear age. Fun. Process of elimination. <laughs> and being that you can see those spaceships which are chariots in the air, yep. that should let you know these are the things that's going to destroy this land. Yep. Right. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. So the utterly destroy, meaning why? Because of reason. Right. The elect of the nation of Israel going to be brought through the fire. Fire. Because the elect is catching that fire right now. Right. That furnace of affliction is going on right now. That's right. While the world is flipping it up. Where is, where, where not? Right. We being oppressed in our jobs. Work, 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 fast, 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 fast. What happens when you do things too fast? Accidents happen, right? Yep. This is a wicked society. And we are watching this in real time. We are all... Sorry. Work, 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 fast, 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 fast. Yep. No, no, no time to sleep, no time to think. Yep. Work, work, work. I got sorry. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Yeah. You supposed to not be in the mindset of America. It's not our rest. This is like a, a purgatory for us. For time being. This is the these are the time for these nations are the most important. This is their time. Their time. We are right with that. Yeah. Good. Because right when it's our time, don't pitch up. Right. Well, right. we don't want to hold hand in hand right no. now. Do what you do. Keep winning until the Lord returns. Right. All right. So we're not envying the oppressor. This is your time to rule. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yep. Right. The resort says because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sword to destroy you. You're going to sell out. You are compromised who you are. You are compromised the word of the Lord. I mean, compromised meaning you ain't going to continue and you got what you learned. Now, how you're taught to bring out the truth, you're going to twist it. For money or popularity. Yeah. You're going to sell out. You're going to take the arm of your relationship. You're going to worship the image of the beast. So you're going to die and take the death. Revelation of what you have. Yeah. Yeah. And we know that they brought these cleaners out here. So let them, let them be saved by the Lord. He's doing that. This is all set up here. It's all set up here. But the Lord... 
For lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among Sith. corn and sisters. Check out that which is not needed. It falls on the ground. It's an undefiled. Two thirds of our people. So a lot of sisters, the men of the Lord, on down. So you're going to have men fall out. Men that's going to die, not doing this work. Dishonorable discharge. If you die doing the work, it's an honorable discharge. Right. So we got to let people know, like, oh, you got people that died, yeah, but they were doing the work. Right. Right. And I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Among all nations. We're scattered throughout the earth, so we're going to be sifted. That's why we are not to take vengeance. Right. Because we don't have that, that awareness like the angels have. We got to wait upon the Lord. That's right. We got to be spiritual. Right. That's right. We are spiritual mercenaries. That's right. All right, we're spiritual mercenaries. But Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, we're spiritual mercenaries. And the scripture says, wait upon me and I will make thy enemies thy footstool. Yeah. And that's Yahweh Shah that said it. And are we not spiritual mercenaries? Look at our apostles, our leaders. Right. Every since this truth been come, coming out since Abba Bibbis, yeah. this place has been declining. That's right. This place, man, yo, they was up. And look how you can see the slope. Damn. Look how you see the slope from what, late 60s to now. Right. How they power just start doing it. Right. That's a short period of time for yeah. late 60s to now. The Lord, how about Shemir he's on, he's on time, he's on time. And you're going to realize, you're going to see. You got something? You got something? Right. Yeah. This is Obadiah, mm. verse 4. Go thou, exalt thyself as the eagle. Who exalts thyself as the eagle? Esau. The Greeks, they had the eagle symbol. Yep. The Rome. Germany, right? Yep. America. Yep. Which that eagle is symbolic to the Phoenix bird. When it, um, it, it lived 500 years and it consumed itself in the fire and it was reborn. reborn. Yeah. You know, they say they knew how to get their house, they knew what their house was going to remain. They're going to keep going on. Yeah. Once again, that eagle represents that Phoenix bird also. Yeah. We know it. Yeah. It says, if thou set thy nest among the stars, you set your, your, your nest amongst the stars when you put out of space. Yeah. When you put up your satellites in space station, you got your high habitation. Right. It's not crazy, man. That's right. And now the other nations want to be like you and they don't know what's out crazy. Because why they caught it in the law for them. That's what I bring you down. Save the Lord. It'll bring you down. And these other nations are falling because they was on the sideline right along with you. So they're going to fall right with you. Right. Right. So, so, we're not envying a brother. Keep going on, do your, do your best job in the devil. Because their time is, is short. It's short. Right. Enjoy these moments as if they were your last. Remember, remember Mortal Kombat, the first movie? Shake yep. Sun said them. Enjoy right. these moments as if they were your last. Right. He's talking about himself and they're telling. Right, right. <laughs> you got more than that, Okay. This is uh, Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Yeah, rejoice and be glad. So you're an Edomite, live your Edomite life. Live it up. Do what you're doing. If you're an Edomite, meaning if you're from the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia, you're a Caucasian, live it up, man. That's right. Live, live it, it up. up. No. 
Look, man, don't be sitting in no corner. Please do the most double shit you're supposed to do. That's in your nature. Con. Look. And I, that's right, because you're right, you're right, you're like, right? They be complaining about how life is hard, you know, they, 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 they can't uh, afford to go to the supermarket and buy groceries, they can't afford to pay their rent, their bills, right? So, guess what? Those are the curses going upon them now, right? And now, you're crying, you're crying about shit that we've been, we've been going through. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're eating my with money. You don't eat a mic with money. Go get you. You don't eat a mic with money. Go get you a whole table of crack. A pyramid of crack on your table. A pyramid of coke and bury your face in the coke. Live it up if you're an eat a mic, yo. I mean a Caucasian. Live it up. You got some? It says, hold on. It says, that dwellers in the land of woods. That land of woods is modern day. That's America. All right, you're supposed to be the richest country, which is bullshit, but it's a corporation. Yo, you eat a mic, y'all supposed to look it up, man. Look, look up. man, if you eat a mic and you finna, um, if you're in Congress or whatever that, bang on them doors, man. Bang on them bang, doors. Call them judges up, yo, help push this chip out. Yeah. Help bring about this new order, yo, knock on them doors, man. I don't care if you got a back kick. These citizens doors, these all um, right. These bases doors or whatever, get that shit popping. Well, the sooner they bring forth that, that's the bring, that's the sooner they gonna go down though. Oh. So they, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really trying to bring. What's that taking up? you so long to move on us? What's it trying to bring? Get it popping. That's why it's, up, it's, it's really the spirit of the Lord that put it in the mind to get yeah, heaven to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bring on the war game yeah. to fulfill Salakia, to fulfill His will. This is fulfill Yahweh Shemel Shah's will. In all reality, that chip, be, that C hip belongs to Yahweh Shemel Shah. Right. So it's a test. It's a test that the, your hopeful elect is going to pass. And you're going to see. You have more than one? Yeah. It says, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. What is that? That affliction, that judgment, that slavery, what? that poverty, curses. the diseases, the curses. Yep. All that gonna all that gonna backfire on you. Right. All those curses that you see upon us, upon you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all the curses upon you is gonna be put on your enemy. On your enemy. Yeah. Right. Yep, yep. It says, Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. You're gonna be drunken. You're gonna be drunken with this affliction. Yeah. And make it exposed. The whole world know you the devil. The whole world know you a liar. The whole world know how you get in your position. The whole world know who you are. Yep, yep. You the roach that got exposed by the light. Yep, that's right. It says the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Yo, we ain't going into captivity no more. That's right. it. We, we, it's over. Right. The only thing you gonna do now is try to hem us up with this so-called new world order. Right. But that's gonna be interrupted by your hour shot. That's right. Oh, it says, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. We ain't going into captivity anymore. This is it. Right. This is it. This is the last time. Right. It says, he will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sin. It's right. gonna be your sin that's gonna be discovered, your transgression. The Lord is gonna come as a thief in the night, yo. Right. Right. Why you why you think you got the whole world, everybody chips, but those are the post chips. Right. I got a piece of a yoga. Got it. This is um I'm one more sorry, for like it. Baruch chapter 4, verse 24. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity. Neighbors of Zion, monument, that's the Israelite. Right. Now see a captivity. Right. The Lord giving us a glimpse of the visual. Right. And you going into captivity because the Lord says outside of time. Good. So the scriptures is past, present, past, present, and future all future. together. All it keeps one. going. Past, present, future. The scriptures is written past, right. present, and future. That's right. So shall they see shortly your salvation. 
here, so our salvation is going to be soon. Right. Our salvation is here. Done. This man that reached the cap, right. he's not going to do interstellar travel. Right. So whatever little thing he's, he's figuring out now, that's an it. Right. This monetary system is reaching its cap. So the last thing, the last cap of this monetary system is the RFID microchip. Done. It ain't going on nothing beyond that. Right. That's the last money that RFID microchip. That's right. So, so should they see shortly your salvation from your power, your how why I was shot. Well, the whole world gonna know who our power is. The whole world gonna know who our power is. Right. They're going to know, they're going to know they messed up in that history. All the stuff is going to know that they messed up. Right, right. We shall come upon you with great glory and, great glory. and brightness a of the everlasting. A bright to make of a wise man dead. And the gift is going to us. Right. You have to ask Right. And if I may say, his glory is going to be with those chariots. With our king standing on top of it, his name is Yahweh Shah. He's going to come back here and he's going to take the earth. And you kneel as Hispanics and Native Americans, you two nudge, you're going to be on the wrong side of the missile. You're going to be in the front with the multiple warheads getting bombarded in the soils of America because of, your, because of your lack of obedience. You don't want to come back to the Lord? Disobedience got you in this mess, and obedience is gonna get you out. Pain shall know about death through pain. Right. So our people, a lot of our people gotta get nuked up the fuck out. That's right. So a lot of our people gotta get um, incinerated. Cut. Beat in the powder. Beat in the powder. With your enemies. Your enemies who run the earth right now. See, that individual don't understand that he could potentially be one of us. That was the moment that the Lord spoke, called him. I'm a rock and he was, I don't know. But he, that, that spirit, that, that wine, that, that other philosophies have, have, have tormented his mind. See, this man that is means, That means he's not with it. Uh, but guess what? Right. If even two thirds, you're an enemy of the cross. You're an enemy right? of the cross. You could be, you, that's why it said uh, in uh, Romans, it says, Israel, not all Israel is of Israel. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You uh, got, all right, you're, you're, you're from, you know, from your father's line, you were Israelite, yeah. right? And from of the flesh. Yeah. But of the spirit, you were heathen, man. Yeah. Yeah. You were, you were with this, uh, right. You 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 were with this this world, man. Yeah. Yeah. However, right. your way we are remain in our situation, yeah. our, in our state. Right. Exactly. So niggas like that gotta go. Gotta go. Yeah, they're in the way, man. Right. In the way. And the, and, the, and the scriptures clarifies that too. That's why it says. Two thirds should be cut off and die. You're in the way. You're, that's it. You go around the scripture. You want you, 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 you eat unlawfully. You pray. You pray to the wrong god. So what's going to happen for those? For those? Since you don't want to repent, the Lord got to put you to death. Oh, God is supposed to be love. No, God is. He's about judgment, righteous anger. Okay. Okay. This is uh, Second Edges, yep. chapter eight, verse fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because the they pride. have walked in great pride. And it's the latter time. And your pride is going to, since you're so prideful against your Habba Shemel Shah, he is going to kill you, man. He's going to destroy you. Remember, remember when Polite came through, yeah. man? Oh, man. When Polite came through on the 34th. He, before he got to where the apostles was, he looked at us with a proud look. Like, yep. Yo, y'all, y'all, nothing. He gave that pride, yeah. that prophet look. He offended the, the, the Lord's little ones. Yeah, the little ones. Yeah, but, look at, but look at where Polite at right That's now. a great example. You know? That's right. Look at, look at, look at where that nigga is at right now. Look at him. He's he bad doing, this he, army. He's doing seven years, man. That's right. And he got for, that for doing, shit. For, for doing shit that he was blaming the impossible. Yeah. Mark. And brothers do you know, brothers wow. doing it. You know? We get a positive, dude. We get, first and foremost, if y'all watch it, y'all watch it. In the middle of the Lord, get a public apology from you conscious speakers. <laughs> And we don't need it anyway. We don't need your public apology. You know what I mean? Hey, now you know what? Rightfully so. So you know what? When, when since apostle 
I mean, since um, since um, polite, since the apostles told the, the breakdown to, to the polite, since you went against it, and look what look what happened to you. Yeah. Now nah, look, he was he was gripping uh, uh, the the mother and the daughter. <laughs> and guess who took his place? You know who took his place? Um, um, nineteen keys. Now nineteen keys is that dude that got the seat. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know who that is. I got no You know what I mean? Polite, his name was Buzzard. Mm -hmm. But now, 19 Keys is oh, in that yeah, position. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, power don't diminish. Power nah, it's, tra it's, it's, it's transferred. Yeah, it's transferred. Power's not lost. Energy is not lost or exactly. created. Yeah. There you go. That was a reaction. Um, um, read it, right? Um, yes, sir. Verse, verse 51, it says, But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Right. Yeah, we're we supposed to um, follow like-minded men. If we, if um, two walk together, unless they be agreed. So right. we're preaching the same thing, the truth. What you learn from um, Yahweh Shem Yahshah to our apostles, our elders, and the, the active. We're right. supposed to be on like one, two. That's right. Right. This is a body. Yeah. Body. Body. Body of like order. Like-minded. Like That's right. You know, we all believe in the same thing. That's why we can't get with you other camps that want to do unity camps, right? Because that's all. That's all confusion. Right. Yeah. Right. The Lord is not the author of confusion. No. You know, you can't be speaking about, you know, the hell doctrine and. All this madness and you know the, the chip is an embargo and Christianity. Right. You know that's all madness. That's all bullshit. Same. That's not according to the Bible, man. Right. All right. You just added things and taken away. You know. And the Lord said He's going He's going to give you all the plagues that are written in the, in His book, man. You know. The last the last verses of the Revelation, the last chapter. And they, I mean, say, oh, they doing this. They they getting their own vain glory. They're not get, they're not doing it for Yahweh Shemel Shah. Yeah. They doing it for Silky Luca. Yeah, look how many members I got. Yeah. Y'all bum. Look at my garment with all this blood that's yeah. I have to do with truth. Yeah. Yeah. This is what the world is doing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is what the world teaches right like, now. Yo, your words don't mean nothing if you don't have um, certain money. Right. Yeah. I see a lot of idiots out here that have money. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Said riches profit nothing. That's right. Nope. Ask Steve Jobs, wealth don't buy health. That's right. You know what I mean? He had all that money, he still went out too soon. Yep. yep. Wow. That's amazing. You got something? Yeah, that's I'm cool. Luke 6, um, verse 24, it says, But woe unto you that are rich. Yeah, uh -huh. he's not to you that are rich, man. Two thirds of our people and everybody else. But ye have received your consolation. You got your second, third place prize, man. This is gross. <laughs> this shitty ass kingdom you Done. see. That's falling. The infrastructure's right. all fucked up. Done. You know what I mean? That's infrastructure, right. everything's all built, all fucked up. Yeah, I, you know, I had to do, I had to do my OT at one time, like yeah. day 12 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours, days back to back, because how the setup is. Yeah. Where I work at. Right. You know what I mean? And then people looking at us getting mad about the shit. I'm like, yo, I'm not the engineer that constructed this shit. No. You know, I ain't saying it like that, but then. But yeah, but this is the kingdom, yo. They got it. Yeah, this is as good as it gets. This is as good as you can get. That's right. And if I may say so like you, okay. And we we our job is to suffer here. I what the Yahweh Shimon Shah put up, he put upon this us. He put these things upon us. Not to be out there trying to get vain glory and go against his protocol. Yeah. I got pizza. You finish that? I love when people scoff and laugh. Yeah. I just hope I'm a demand of the Lord and that I can get some of these scoffers as my personal pets. Oh, I, want, I want them to have the same look and everything if I could press the wine with a projector screen. Yeah. Shit, that shit be looking like a meditation. Uh, verse 25, woe to you that are poor, for you shall hunger. Yeah, oh. all of you are that full, man. All you sell out niggas, you entertainers, entertainment niggas, you scoffers. You're not 
know, especially the scoffers, man. May they, may they die and may, may their family die, man. That's right. Oh, until you got locked down, but you shot more than weak. You know, more than weak. Right. Yo, what happened? Yep. Why well, I lost my kid. Oh, man, what happened? Yep. Yep. Well, you scoffed at the Lord, and you was talking shit inwardly or outwardly, man. And the Lord just zapped your ass. Yep. Or he got you. Yep. Or he took something that you cherished. That's right. Okay. Hey, the scripture says, it's a fearful thing fall in the hands of the living uh, power. You know? Uh, a lot of people, they think they they scoffing at us. Yeah. You know? Listen, at the end of the day, you really ain't, you really ain't scoffing at us, man. Because this is not our work. The Lord is the one that put it in our spirit, you know, to come and, and, and teach his word. This is this is the Lord's message. Yeah. That's all we're delivering, man. The Lord's message, man. You right. can tell folly and people don't go, people don't have discernment. Uh, or, 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 or analyze things. People are stupid because a, a regular person like like us, we'll be like, yo, alright, why it's a it's a it's a nice day out, they could be having fun at a bar or something. Why would they be out here? Let me see what's going on. Yeah. Let me see what's let me see what this might be something important they talk about. Right, brother, it wasn't given on to them. Yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what it all comes down to. Yeah. Right. It wasn't given on to them. The Lord has basically blocked these people from receiving this truth. Right. Because why? The Lord, the Lord don't fuck with you. Right. Simple as that. The Lord don't fuck with you. All right? Blessed are you if you can understand this truth. Yeah, right. You can be able to uh, go into the to the to the to the writings and understand the, the, the prophecies written in this book. Yeah. You know, blessed are you. Right. Like we used to have like we used to have visuals to go along with you. We are needed for the scripture, but not just be a visual. That's right. I think the Lord has a clear how to win. The Lord don't really want that. I want them seeing the pictures of all the signs like that. Because yeah, this thing is winding down. down. Yeah. This whole yeah, ministry down. is winding down. Right. Right. It makes sense. It's going to be a family yeah. of the world very yeah. soon. That's right. why it's 50 says, seek the Lord while you may be found. Right. But sooner or later, you ain't going to see the men of the Lord, the prophets out here. All right? Right. Speaking of prophets, speaking of prophets, the one, the one appears, more appears. Right. Oh, yeah. Shalom, Rock. I know you're busy. I know you're busy. Shalom, we're good. Uh, Baruch chapter 4, verse 24. Verse 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you from your power, Yahweh Shah. We suffer patiently. Right. Be, to, be, to have patience is to suffer. The wait, the wait time, the not right. act on impulse, that is, that's a lot. That takes a lot. How many times people piss you off in the world or on the job? People piss you off in the world or on the job. Right. And you're doing your job, but motherfucking, motherfucking saying shit about how you work. Show me a shot. And you're you doing it. Right. That's, that's say, that station you got is, is better off when you got there. Right. But they just want to um, just be yeah, tired. Just, just be yeah. Exactly, bro. Like, they don't have no, like, empathy or pity for people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Especially our people. Our people are the, one of the biggest oppressors uh, in the workforce. No, like, oh, man. Like, like you got to yeah, understand, yeah. though, like, oppression makes the wise man <laughs> mad. And who is they better than They're skipping their top dancing with their head now. Let me, let me oppress these niggas from back. That's right. You yeah. know what I mean? They're always doing this shit. All right, you got it. A little more. It says... Um, for thy enemies has persecuted thee. Yeah, our enemies persecuted us, right? right? All our enemies, the so-called white men, all the heathen nations outside right. of the nation of Israel is our enemies. That's right. They persecute us. That's right. But but shortly thou shalt see but thou shalt see his destruction. But well, we're gonna see their destruction soon, so so-called white man. Oh, time is that's right. Time is up. Right. We are in the nuclear age. That's man. right. Nuclear Holocaust. No doubt. And it's going to turn America into a beautiful desert, yo. That's right. The desert creatures going to have a home, man. In oh, the unclean spirits, yeah. man. That's right. You know? So everybody, if, if, if your ass a Caucasian, you should be enjoying yourself right now because America is going to be turned into a desert. All your armies are going to be annihilated by the Lord. Son. You know, 
So now is your window of opportunity to go have as much fun as you can. Oppress, keep oppressing as many people as you can. That's right. Do your job. Your job is to be the devil. So do devil as shit. That's right. That's no. right. Yeah. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and and shall thread upon his neck. Yeah. Your feet, our feet gonna be on your neck soon. Yeah. Our feet gonna be on your spine soon, yeah. man. Once we hit that green light, you're gonna receive an ass whooping. Woo! Like from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, you see? For me, Yahweh It's going down. I-E-I, hey, what, how do you say it, how do you say it? A-E-I-O-U is an ass whooping? Hold up, hold up, son. Come on. All right, All right Alex. But oh. well, yeah, shout out to you know. But um, well, yeah, so cold white man, man, um, your day's almost over, right. man. America about to be new. That's right. I got that was point. This is uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land where ye are, for blood it defileth the land. America is polluted by the blood of the saints and by the blood of the Israelites. Right. The Northern Kingdom, North American Indians, Seminole Indians. That's not their real names, but that's who y'all know them as. So-called Mexicans. Going down. It says, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood so that is America shed. So America can be cleansed, it can be blessed, but it has to be cleansed by the blood of those that shed blood. You Edomites, your blood gotta be shed here in America. The Edomites are Caucasian. Said, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So this is another reason why America will be turned into a desert, by thermonuclear destruction, and by the Lord when he returns. The second death. The first death was a flood, the second death is nuclear destruction. But the whole world will not be destroyed. America will be destroyed. Right, because you got you guys from the IUIC saying that the whole earth is going to be destroyed. The earth will buy it forever. What are you talking about? You see? Where the kingdom of heaven is going to be. Where the kingdom of heaven is going to be at. Where at? It's going to be on the earth, man. And that's selfish. So you watch your damn enemy rule over you, step on you for for decades, and then the Lord, and then the world gonna be created that was created for our sakes. Stupid. Well, inherited. Yahweh Shah can't get his part of his inheritance. Yeah. And what about? I the, know uh, we know how high it's gonna be other of the galaxies, the worlds, but this place is the key station. There you go. This is this, this gonna be the key station. <laughs> it's the headquarters. That's it's right. the headquarters of all the planets. Yeah. Not this, we don't. This gonna be. This is like. This is like the um. The, the, the Lord the got the, the favorites. The favorites. The Lord yeah. got his favorites. He got his favorite bird. He also has his favorite planet. Yep. This is this is this is his favorite one right here. Yep. Here. Oh, sorry, it's locked, bro. Yeah, that was This is um, back at Baruch 4 and verse, I'm going to start at 30. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee thy name will comfort thee. Woo. Yeah, the Lord gave us our name, Yasha Allah. He is a prince of the power. And so he's going to comfort us. We're being comforted by the scriptures, but... We're gonna have the kingdom soon. I mean, we're gonna be joint heirs along Yahweh Shai. Under the under Yahweh Shai, under King David, under the 12, the rank, the ranking system. That's right. We good. We good. We good, because <laughs> we're gonna be above you nations. In the governance seat, man. As long as we got a governance seat, we straight. You know? We good. We live forever, brother. We yeah, live forever. We live forever, and man. Every Israelite man, even the two thirds that come up, come back, they are part of the lineup. Yep. If you if you're a chosen seed, you could. Yeah, come in. Superior, like superior. You got to be that superior um so called nation. Yeah. Well, it says, miserable all they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. All these nations outside of, if you're not a so called Negro, Latino, and a Native American, you're gonna be afflicted because you have afflicted us. Ephraim, Puerto Rican. No doubt, bro. Shalom, bro.
I respect, I respect, I respect. Preach it up, man. I, uh, one of the lost people, you know what I mean? He from baby. Like I said, he got a, he got a slot too in the kingdom. That's right. He gonna be a, a ruler. You know what I mean? So his he sons is. gonna be rulers, and his sons, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a monarchy. Oh yeah. You know? So all the curses, like, and then all the curses gonna fall on these other nations. They women gonna bump up against them. Yep, yep. yep. Like yo, they they impoverished. They yep. They afflicted Talking by shit. Elvis. <laughs> yeah. They talking shit. Yeah. Because that's the how we caught on this side. Yeah. It says it's gonna be in the um um what's that favelas or what's that yeah, shit yeah. Oh. Yeah. They're gonna be living in shit that they're look like cardboard. Huts. Yeah. Huts. No, they got oh they got pits. Yeah, pits yeah. Deep deep pits. They're gonna be living like World War Z. Yeah. That's animals, not animals, more animals more. gonna have more uh, rights to come. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It says miserable are the cities. Which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Mm. That's Babylon. Yeah, Babylon. The mother of harlots. Yep. That received thy sons. That's how we got over here. Yeah, we, we still here. Yeah, we got crumbs, man. Yeah. We got less than crumbs. Yeah. yeah you, can you, making, you can make two hundred thousand a year. You still got crumbs. You still got crumbs. You know how much bump these, these devils got? You know? What is it called? Liquid? Yeah, liquid. Yeah, liquid. Assets. They got all money. First of all, true money is what? Gold, That's right. land, yeah. and silver, and people. And people. And don't forget diamonds. That's lightweight. That's, That's lightweight. That's right. They got pumped up by the um, the, the beers and yeah. opera yeah. 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 they, 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 they made That's it into something. That's man. the least uh, precious gem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just like yeah. platinum, man. They, they, they puffed it up. Yeah, they but. puffed up platinum. Pla platinum is known as baby silver. You yeah. look it up. But then it's worth more than fucking actual yeah. silver. Yeah, That's to show you who the devil is. Yeah. Whatever he call is, whatever he call is, is, is worth something. It's something. Yep. Like he could, he could, <laughs> he could, he could take force some water, put smoke in it, yeah. and bottle it up. And bottle it up and sell it. And, and sell that shit for six hundred a bottle. Hey, the fiat dollar. You made this one that was worth something. Hell yeah. 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 And that shows you witchcraft. Yeah. All that satanic symbols on it. To take something that's worthless and have people kill over it. It says. Miserable are they that afflicted thee, and the grace that thou fall. Uh -huh. Miserable are the seas which thy children serve. Yeah, we serve in all these, mainly this one, this city, America, uh -huh. a city among cities, a corporation. Yep. We serve these these demons, man. Yeah. It says, Miserable is she that received thy sons, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin, and was glad of thy fall. They rejoice, all these nations rejoice over our fall. So shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Yeah, she gonna grieve for her own desolation. That's thermonuclear destruction. Man, thermonuclear destruction, man. Out here, man. The nukes gonna hit the projects too. Okay. Yeah. It says, for I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. That pride gonna be turned into mourning. Because when they see the mushroom clouds breaking in the sky, you know, and they, and they seeing all these things, you know, then they, 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 they're going to they gonna realize that they're going to be in mourning. And all that pride going to be turned into, into fear. Yeah. It says, for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. Fire going to come. It doesn't matter if you got your newborn. That's right. You got your, your newborn is in your in your woman's stomach. You just, you just, um, you just became wealthy overnight. You just got more wealth. You got what you attained. You got what you were seeking for. You got a higher rank in your um your so-called illuminated um position. It says, "For fire shall come." You made it to like, your bunker. You made it to your bunker before everything happened, just to know you that was your grave. You just jumped in. Yep. Right, right, right. yep. It says, "For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting." Fire will come upon you from the everlasting. So you get to your secret location here in America. Those of you fools that's in a hot zone. You basically the dug your grave, you lowered the casket in it, you climbed in it, you opened it, and you closed it, and you said good night. That's you Amos. Know, that's really what's what you did. That's Amos, it right? It says, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. Inhabited of devils, right? Because the devils are roaming, these spirits are roaming free, they, they get they get they, they, they free time to jump on the people's minds and stuff that the Lord allows. Them. 
and then to do the chaos, this is their moment of freedom, their recess time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, guys are like teachers. Yeah. So, but now, now they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be, they're gonna be here, detained here. Yep. To the home that every unclean spirit yep. that yep. 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 is gonna be here in America. Yep. Yep. You know that 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 faggot homosexual spirit that's gonna be here, man. Right. That ain't gonna be in our kingdom. Man. That was it on that. That's right. I got a precept for you. Come on. Um, okay. Um, second, um, um, second Thessalonians chapter one verse six. See, it is a righteous thing with your Yahweh I was shot to recompense tribulation see, to them. See, it is a righteous thing with the Yahweh Hashem I was shot. The Most High and the Lord Yahweh and Yahweh Shah is a righteous thing to recompense to pay back tribulation, bad things to the people that afflicted us. But we have to wait upon Yahweh Shemayim Shai to enforce that. That's right. That's right. Seeing is a righteous thing with Yahweh Shemayim Shai to recompense tribulation to them that, to trouble, the, that you. trouble you. Who troubled the nation of Israel? The nation of Israel is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Man. Who troubled us? Right. All the nations that's outside of the nation of Israel troubled us. Right. So it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation. Righteous. But we have to wait upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to do it. And that's right. And that's patience, man. And the word yeah. patience means to suffer. And we are suffering this society, man. This whole setup, this thing is a fucking mess. It's a fucking mess, man. No matter where you go. And, verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. We are troubled, but we rest and we, this, uh, these scriptures give us rest. Right. This work give us rest. Right. We work in carnally in the, you know, we work in the world and we doing the work of the Lord. So, you know. Right. It, it all comes together, culminates together. Yeah. That's right. They keep us, keep, they us, keep us functioning. That's right. They keep us um, constructive. That's right. Less folly. That's right. And we're seeking mercy from Yahweh yeah. Shemal Shah to not to be destroyed here. Yeah. This place is going to be destroyed. You can, your very misery loves company. Your people are miserable. And what comforts us? These scriptures and this brotherly love amongst us. And if they don't believe that this place is going to be destroyed, well, who told you that? Uh -huh. What assurances you have that America is not going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction? Uh -huh. Please tell me. What's going to stop thermonuclear destruction here in America? Run that by us. Because if we look at crazy and what we're saying is not the truth, what's going to stop this place from being destroyed? Who could do it? Can you do it? His words is not going to say, can we do it now? The Lord, our power is going to do it. And his words is not going to go void. Yeah. That's right. And we rested in these scriptures. And we've been taught well. And our apostles are still standing on the front line and they're following suit of Yahweh Shemel Shah and the ancient man in the book. Okay? The Lord, the Lord is not going is not slack to his word. Um I may say one more verse. Yeah, so the, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. America will be destroyed by intercontinental ballistic missiles. It will happen in this lifetime. Not a test. <laughs> no, America will be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. There's nothing you can do about it. If your ass is visiting here, and you don't live here, you can take your ass home. Get out of the high zone. America's a high zone. We're staying in the high zone because we are faith we're going to be delivered. That's right. We are not running. That's right. You can't run from your high by shooting your That's right. And he wants us to deal with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As righteous men. I remember mean, when Stephen yeah. King was staring the first one. He was like, you can't outrun the dog, man. That's right. You can't outrun him. This man, he was trying to outrun death because he was up in that um, up in that um, facility, in the, in the military facility, right. and the bug got loose, the virus. Mm -hmm. right. He was trying to outrun it with his family. You can't right. be it. You know? Yeah, but you can't outrun this. That's right. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generation of old and see did ever set any trust in Yahweh Shah and was confounded? 
And anyone trusting in Yah by Shemiah Shai and was confounded? No, it wasn't confounded. All right? The elect is never confounded. Right. The Lord always, the Lord always delivers his elect. Right. And his chosen. That's right. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Yeah, who was forsaken? No one was forsaken. That's right. The Lord is the Lord's men. The Lord's elect is never forsaken. That's right. Or who did he ever despise that called upon him? Yeah, and the elect that called upon his name. That's right. All right? The truth is sincerity. That's right. That's right. Yahweh Shai and promote those names. Not ashamed of Yahweh Shai. Right. Not ashamed of saying that the Lord is a so-called black man, meaning he got dark brown complexion. Right. The Most High has that. They got spiritual bodies, but it has a melanated features. <laughs> Beautiful. You know, I have features, structure. Mm -hmm. The Spirit has structure. Spirit is not just some like mist that's moving around like a smoke. Yeah. Like, come on, Stupid. man. Let's go about the body in the heavens. Yeah, you got a body in. We got a spiritual body underneath these physical shackles. That's why a person loses their limb. They still feel something here. Yeah. It's gold in the heavens. You got a yeah, gold, gold in the heavens. You got a different realm. Elements. Where did you think the chariots was created at? Exactly. You say you got a spirit of their own, but that's wow. it, right? So with, with that, we like to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Ba'ashat, Ba'ashim, Ba'ashat, Double honor to our apostles, our bishops, the honor to our king that pushed this truth out in sincerity, week in and week out. Just getting a glimpse of the surroundings. You know, Shalom. Shalom. Get the arm button for me. What?